Hey guys, it's Andy from CCG. Hey guys, it's Breeze from CCG. Hey, what's up guys? Hey, this is Mason if you haven't met him yet. My name is Matt and welcome back to Controlled Chaos Gaming. In today's video, we're gonna be going over the awesome QRM VMAX. Ever since rotation hit, this card has been a little bit down in the dumps. But thanks to some creative building from Mason and CCG, we have a good QRM VMAX list playing 21 energies. If you want to see this deck list, go check out the link in the description for our Discord where we post our decks every single week that we play live on stream. And if you enjoy the video, please, of course, leave a like and subscribe for more content as we do weekly videos with tabletop Pokemon testing. Let's get into the video. I like heads or tails. I will take tails. Gonna be heads. The uh, this list is Anthony Perez's list, but I did end up adding uh, one card. I added, oh. um, uh, gosh, what is her name? Penny. I added Penny to the deck. So, yeah. Sweet. You said you're going first, yeah? Actually, I want to go second. Okay, sounds good. Good luck. It's kind of a going second deck. Draw here? Yeah, like eight people showed up. That's crazy, man. Four, five, six, seven. All right. Okay. This is bound to happen with this deck. Yep. So. We have a uh, we have a senior that plays Ice Rider. Or not Ice Rider. What does he play? He plays Kuro. Yeah. He does? Lance plays Kuro. Yep. Oh, he's a junior, though, isn't he? Oh, shoot. You're right. He is a okay. junior. <laughs> he's going to be a senior soon. All right. It's nice. respect. Yeah. Oops. Alrighty there. Sweet. So I think we're good to give it a whirl. Yep. Good luck. And yep. let's try this. Oh boy. Wow, Ooh, that looks sick, that dude. Looks good. All right. Oh. That looks better than I thought it would. Alright. I'm gonna draw for turn here. So uh Mason's gonna <laughs> take a look at my entire hand here. Yeah. Um, oh, I don't want. Alrighty here. I think we're gonna start out with the tandem units. I think we're right, I'm pretty linear deck. though, right? <laughs> That's true. So I'm looking at the QRM, which means the Raichu is super important. Also, uh, 220 HP is pretty difficult to hit otherwise. Um, so I think I'm going to go with the Maridon route this game, and then the Raichu if he ends up evolving. So I'm going to use Tandem Unit to search for a Marik and a Maridon, and I'm immediately going to go back in with the Tandem Unit. And... Looking through the deck, I have both Flaffy. I think I want to establish both Mareep. And then I'd really like to get that Raikou, just for the possibility. Although, it's maybe the, the most Raichu... the attacker in the deck. Right. I'm trying to think about this, though. And I think, actually, for this hand, Raichu is really good here. Okay. Because Raichu has access to that attack fast charge, I can actually go get an electric energy on turn one. So... We're going to do that. And let's see. I'm going to use the Beach Court here to retreat into Raichu. And I will go ahead and attach for turn. And I think I am just going to go ahead and use Fast Charge. It says, if you are on your first turn, you can search your deck for an Electric Energy and attach it to this Pokemon. And then my turn is over. We're going to pass it over to Mason. Very cool. Turn attack there. Nice game breaking move. Um, I will bench a second Kyurem V, and this hand is pretty sick because Adventurous Discovery is exactly what I want for one. Nice! Because now I will set up my board with four Kyurem Vs if possible and add a VMAX to my hand as well. Perfect. Yeah, sec. Cool. You have one game in this deck? Yeah, I know. <laughs> I love that we're both playing like total bonehead decks this week. Um, yep. So, what are we thinking here with the Adventures Discovery? So, establishing 4 Cure and V is very powerful. Mm -hmm. And I'm also maybe considering getting 2 V Max because I don't have one in my hand. Gotcha. Um, the odds of you not being on a Pokemon next turn is like <laughs> very high. I <laughs> did. Yeah. So. And then that's another thing, is if I put too many V-Pokemon in play and they're like, if I don't evolve them up, they'll be huge liabilities down the road. Um, 
I think I'm gonna go for this, because it has the most potential. Sounds good. So what is the what is the ninth base? Is it the Luminium? It's uh, Raining Greninja. Ooh, that's perfect in the set. Yeah. Yeah, it's very safe because you can actually attack <laughs> it pretty easily as well. A Mason Gosa. <laughs> that's the emo. That's Mason emo. Gosa. That's great. Okay. So I will. And Rapid Freeze is insane in that. Deck. Yeah, it is. Like, Sometimes like you have so a hand good. just like six energy. <laughs> I think for now. I will just attach to the active and that. Alrighty, and we can go back to the full screen now that we've had like a full board of stuff. I'm gonna draw for turn. Um don't really wanna discard this. Kind of gonna have to do something with it. I'm gonna tandem unit here, and I think what we're gonna go for is the Raikovi. Do I wanna go for the Raikovi? I feel like Raichu is so good in this matchup. I feel like I'm Double just going to go for the... Yes, cool. yes. So Anthony Perez plays two Raichu in this deck, and it's a Raichu Flap deck. So I think I'm going to go for the other Raichu. I'm going to attach the Forest Seal Stone here, and I'm going to Ultra Ball, discarding both uh, an Electric Energy and a Switch Cart. Going through, and I'm going to find myself one of the Flappies that I need. I'm going to evolve the 60 HP one. Now, did he play that split of Flappies as well? Um, or Grapes, I mean? No, it was all 60 HP ones. Really? I believe that the 160 270 is the best, but mm -hmm. his was a go second knockout Pokemon type deck, so yeah, I can yeah. totally understand why he went with the 60 HP one because of the one retreat. That's kind of how I've been going for Rhinon as well lately. It's just like ultra turbo, yep. like always attack turn one. It's a good strat. Yeah, it's decent. Okay, so I think what we're going to do is just attach for turn onto the active. We're pretty committed to taking a knockout with the active, and we're going to research for a full seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Any electric energy in the discard pile? You have one, right? One, yep. Okay. So we're going to use Dynamotor here to attach it. And we're also going to Ultra Ball, discarding an electric energy and a... Serena, and it's going to be completely useless in this match. Uh, it is kind of cool, though, that Mason has the ability to actually back-to-back -back Greninja, and he could probably, like, destroy Lost Fox like that. Yeah. Just go 90-90-90-90-90. But they put, they, they put down Mana it's pretty tricky, though. Right. Because you do just have to boss it up, right? It's true. Alright, here... Cutter tap. And looking at this hand, not a whole ton of can do left. We're just going to go ahead and Dynamotor use up our last ability there. And to hit for a knockout, I need to discard four energy. So I'm going to discard one, two from the active, three, four from the bench for 240 damage in the knockout. Sweet. Turn two, knockout, taking two prizes. Big money. I want here be. As if I had a choice. <laughs> Draw for turn. The shiny. I'm gonna Hero. evolve the active and play Melanie. Ooh. So this is gonna be a lot of knockouts back and forth, I think. Let's go. Switching cups. Yep. One on top of the deck. Luckily, I got a Kieran V Max off of that, so that's really wow. cool. Facing your world. Nice. Um and another switching cups and another one in the hand. Super busted. Up number two. It is interesting. You do have to discard, I think, to yeah, take a knockout. Yeah. So yeah, it's a good part. However, however, this choice belt oh. makes me think to discard one. Ah, super strong. Yep. And maybe that's a risk because you could potentially. Well, I don't think you could ever get that right. You powered up enough to one shot a V Max next turn, actually. Well, electric generator well, says otherwise. Yeah, sure, I guess <laughs> you haven't played any of those yet, have you? Not yet. Right. I will max frost for 200 damage again. Alrighty here. I, am I have a feeling this would be a pretty quick set. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Promote Mariah on here, draw for turn. I think this is a pretty good card situation. First thing I'm going to do for the turn is get that attachment going on the Raichu. I think it's super important here, and I will... 
Uh, use tandem unit. I think we're going to go search the deck for a, another Maridon just so that we have the capabilities to one-shot maybe a Kirum B. And I think the one thing that this deck doesn't play that I wish it did is Sky Seal Stone. Maybe it does, and I just don't know about it. Um, I built this list, and then I was like, you know, Penny is, is pretty good, so let me put that in the deck. So that's the only change I've made so far. Um, so I've attached for turn here. I think what I want to do is go ahead and escape rope. Okay. <clears throat> yep, and choosing the Curum VMAX instead of the V. Good choice. <laughs> And I think with this hand, I'm just going to go ahead and star, uh, what the heck are you called? Alchemy. Star Alchemy. Yeah. There we go. Need to look I did play a Sky Seal Stone. Yeah, Very nice. Is. So maybe that'll come into play next game. Uh, we're going to go for the research this turn. Even if I don't hit it, I highly doubt Mason plays a bunch of boss's orders in the deck. Yeah. Maybe he does. But... Can't really squeeze him in. Wish I could. Right. Um, so, if anything, we just set up the Raichu to take a one-hit knockout again, and then set up for game the following turn. But uh, we'll see here. We'll see what we can do. Worst case scenario, I can just hit for a little bit of damage with maybe a Flaffy and reduce the damage that I need for something else. Cut or tap. And we're going to go ahead and research... Discard the whole hand, getting rid of a penny, judge, each court, and Raikou. Cool. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Very nice. So that's exactly what we wanted. We're going to go generator here. Big money, no whammy. Three, oh, four, gosh. five. Yeah, okay. You take one, you take one. That's not bad. Two boss there. Um, we're going to go ahead and ultra ball now, just to. Uh, Discard this Magna Zone and get a Raikou out. Do we want a Raikou? Um, yeah, we'll take the Raikou. So we'll get the Raikou there. And we're really hoping this Electric Generator, the second one here, can hit two energy in order to take the knockout with Dynamic Spark for 360 damage. That would be nuts. Yes. <laughs> Love how fast that attack goes. Yep. And Raichu, the like perfect Pokemon for this matchup. Mm -hmm. Just being able to one-shot a bunch of Pokemon. Right. Yeah, if you didn't have that in there, this would be pretty tough for you. Yeah. Um, even Regilecki doesn't really get you there, so... 100%. Alright, let's hit two. Electric Generator here, one. There we go. Oh, and there two. we go. Two it is. So that's going to be a knockout on this Kira and VMAX. And I'm kind of hoping Mason doesn't have a way to evolve the Qrem on the bench so that I can hopefully... Like easy cleanup. Yep. Raichu is one of those cards that I wanted it to work so badly when it came out. <laughs> it took so long for it to be good. In the AI, yeah, it took a long time, yeah. One... I think Dynamotor was like two. one of my favorite abilities at the time, and I just... It just wasn't panning out. Yeah. Especially... Thanks to the Maridon, it's just so easy to get it going. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna go ahead and Dynamic Spark right here for 300 and, or, yeah, 360, 360 damage. damage. The knockout, taking three prize cards, going to one remaining. That is brutal. No, Kieran Vmax, draw for turn. I do have the one in hand, oh, not the prizes. That's rough for me. Indeed. Now, I think. I was going to play Irida for Greninja, but now that's a huge liability, ah, yeah. so I'm going to attach for turn and actually just clear the whole hand out by playing Serena and Discord 3 and draw 5. Sounds good. Got those nice Iridas in there. Just the one. I actually only own four copies of Irida. Oh, wow. And one is the full art. So. That's awesome. Yeah. We're going to bump your stadium. Okay. Primordial Altar. Let's start with the Altar. I will leave it on top. Okay. And then play Expedition Uniform. I have no clue what the card is. 
It looks at the bottom three cards of the deck. Okay. And then you can put them back on top in any order. What in the world? Yeah, it's really <laughs> sick, actually. <laughs> That's awesome. The list I, like, based this off of had less of those and more switching cups, and I was like, I think I want more of these. Right? That's pretty good. You can, you you can load up three. multiple energies, exactly. Um, another inter interesting thing you can do, and maybe that was a sequencing error on my part, potentially, is you could play this first. Right. Set some stuff up. If there's not that... This, the number of energy you want, you could use this to discard a card to get deeper into the deck. That makes sense. Um, <clears throat> Alright, so we will use a Glaciator World. Just go here. And... <clears throat> yeah, max for us for 200. 200 damage! Yeah, that's a clean KO here, and now I've got to basically uh, not die this next turn. So we're gonna see what we can do here. We're gonna send up the Right on, draw for turn. Very nice top deck. We're going to use Primordial Altar here and discard a Magna Zone. Do that, right? Yep. Yeah. Discard it if I want. Cool. Okay. So I think what we're going to do here is... I guess uh, Tandem Unit, hope for, the, hope for the Escape Rope, maybe? Yeah, the Escape Rope's really good here. We could get that. I think that's that's what we need so we're gonna go ahead and bench Raikou we are gonna go back in just a sec I'll put this here. we're gonna go with the beach court to replace it and then we will let's see does it ever matter where you need to discard like one more energy or something like that I don't think so so we are going to attach the Raikou and play judge Oh man, I just stacked ju uh, boss's orders on top of my deck. Oh, uh -huh. <laughs> dang. So, I'm gonna lurk for a little bit. Sounds good. Oh, I just realized your breeze on me. Oops. Oh no. Video scuffed. Video scuffed. It's all good. I put him at the bottom now. I felt like it was a little yeah, bit kind of like that. Been working on stream, been updating it. Hopefully, people enjoy it more. I don't know. Maybe I you think hate it, it more. Good. I guess. Thanks, I appreciate it. A little less uh, chaotic. Yep. A little more hoping controlled. Controlled, not as chaotic. Alrighty, here. We're really hoping to find the escape rope here. Although, you do need one energy, which you run 21 of, so, you know. Um, we'll go Dynamotor here. And I will retreat. This has got to be the best fleet footed ever. Fleet footed. Nope, not quite. So we are going to Lightning Rondo for. Um, 40? Yeah, it's going to be 140. Not quite I mean, enough. Didn't piece together what you needed there. Nope, you got an energy for. I have three of them. Oh, wow. Oh. GG. Nah, four, five, six. Oh, it was a busted hand with no base pick. Yours is pretty good, yeah. too. And it's kind of cool, because, like, this is Kyurem, you know, the old Polka version was what I played in Last Salt Lake City. So I gotta kind of call back to that as well. Yep. I got a second moment. Oh, yeah. One, two, three, four, five. You're lucky we're not sponsored. Six, seven. <laughs> Dude, if I get sponsored by Katana, it's gonna You'll be cry. the end of the world for me. I used to, I don't know if you know this, but I used to use exclusively Katana. I do remember that for yes. a very brief period of time. They had, no, it was about three years. Three actually. years? Yeah. Holy cow. Yeah, before you played. I see. Uh, and a little bit while you played. Ooh, he starts the Lux Ray. Good luck. But um, they started cutting them weird, and that's, that's when I. They cut them too short on the top. Yep, so all my cards kept falling out. I'll draw for turn here. We did get the busted double Marie in hand, which is super awesome. And we have so many good cards in our hand that I don't even like need any of them. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and tandem unit. And this is the hard part about this deck is like, I don't really have any, um, any options for or draw outside of supporters. So there's no Luminion, there's no 
Greninja, there's nothing like oh, that. Oh, no Greninja. Yeah. Interesting. Do they play Radiant Pokemon at all? Uh, no. No Radiant Pokemon. I think if I was to include one, it would be Greninja. Although Alakazam would be kind of cool in this deck, because I feel like sometimes you're mm. uh, missing KOs with Raichu. Yeah. You or can hit into Raikou. something with Raikou early and then move the damage to uh, set up something for Raichu, right? Exactly. Or against the Dragonite deck, you can move damage to get rid of Comb Phase and stuff like that. So, uh, and that's what Nathan was doing in his build. Hello! So, yeah. Perfect. And uh, this is going to be a little sad. We've got a beach port out to this Raikou. Literally, there's the draw power you were talking about. Yep. How many Raikou in this deck? Uh, there's two. Two. Yep. Mm -hmm. And I think I am just going to go ahead and I think the man the nest ball here feels okay. I'm going to nest ball for a Maridon. And then I will kind of pass my turn over to you. All right. Fortunately, not a great top deck there. I do have Kieran B an attachment for turn, but I am in a really bad spot to use escape room. Yep. So... Don't worry, my hand is at the whim of fleet footed right now. Oh, right. Good to know. I'm going to just go ahead and use that seeking bank for 50. Okay. You get to search for anything? Two trainer cards. Oh, two trainer cards. Yeah. So you have to reveal them. Yeah. I kept okay. revealing them, and my roommate was like, why do you keep showing me the two cards? I'm like, they have to be trainer cards. Right. He was used to the old Talon flame, I guess, that could just grab anything. Yeah, that card was sick, man. I played it in Greninja. It was literally insane. I actually played it in Greninja before they played it at Worlds, which was pretty fun. Because I was like, you know what? Greninja doesn't have enough starting Pokemon. Why didn't I put four Talonflame in? And they were like, why would you do that? And then he got second place in the world. So, you know, sometimes, sometimes we you take call those. the shots. That's right. You call the meta. I think we're... CCG is pretty good at calling meta. We're just not good at winning. <laughs> you know, so it's like, maybe we'll get there someday. Alright, yep. So that is first... I'm gonna draw for turn here. Thank gosh, I drew a supporter. And it's one to grab up a base oh, deck. I'm not no. gonna do it yet. I don't have you any don't have energy in my to, hand. All right. so, so you have the double marine double flaffy hand? Yes. So oh, like, I'm gonna evolve both of them right now. And then I think before I fleet footed, I will go ahead and attach a Sky Seal Stone and Serena, discarding an Ultra Ball to draw five cards. So one, two, three. Four or five. Holy cow, we got everything we needed uh, to get a knockout here. Right off the top. So we're going to go uh, fleet footed, draw one card. That's nice. If we get two energy, it's game over for the uh, Pokemans over there. <laughs> um, we're going to go electric generator here. Oh, let one, rip, let rip. two, three, no, oh, four, five, seven. Okay, I'm clinging what? on to hope here. Oh, wow. I'm sorry, what were the trainer cards that you grabbed? It was Adventures, Discovery, and Switching Cups. Okay, yeah, that's right. So, uh, Boat Brew says L. That's Breeze, yeah? Yeah, it's Breeze, yep. L, L Bozo. Better count. I think what we will do, though, is go with the rope right now. Okay. Because um, I don't think you're getting out of this you definitely don't want to attack in Monox reaction. Yep. And we're going to attach for turn. And we're going to retreat and use fast charge. This is a little scary because, you know, I, I might get knocked out, but. It might just be setting me up I'm, for a juicy two prizer right there. Yeah. And if I can take four prizes off of this Kirim, it's probably game over. So. Well, it's your turn. Go for turn. I guess the problem here is like I literally don't have any way to get three energy on this guy without playing Melanie. Right. And I can't do that. So that's what I wanted to hear. Okay. Let's go with Adventures Discovery. It is a little strange, I will say, that the Greninja is in the deck because if you play Luxray down, you kind of 
can't play Greninja. It depends on the matchup. It does depend on the matchup, you're right. Yep. But if there's enough gust options, yeah. or it's Lost Box. I guess Greninja is really good against Lost Box. Exactly. It's nice that you can bench a Greninja and immediately power it up. Kind of like that. Yeah, exactly. Palkia factor. It's kind of like Mirage game, too. It's just like the Greninja is so good when it comes out of nowhere. Right? Um, Cut or tap for you. Cut. Really appreciate everybody checking out the channel. If you haven't already, you should Ooh, take a look. See if you're subscribed, if you're following, because uh, sometimes it doesn't look like you are, or it, or maybe it looks like you are and you aren't. So if you want to check that, make sure you're following, because we stream every single week, twice a week, sometimes three times a week soon. And uh, we've got YouTube videos every week as well. So super fun tabletop content. So I'm benching all three tier MVs. Yep. Uh, I see you have Sky So Sun and play. I'm actually going to choose not to evolve yet. That's a good idea. And play Escape Rope. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm going to promote the Raikou once again. This will let me use fat, use Seeking Fangs once again and just set up my board. Um, Matt, did you lock my door? Is that going to create a <laughs> game? Oh, yeah. It is a healthy habit. And to be honest... I might bump the stadium just to deny you access to the beach board. Yeah, that's annoying. So, we'll see King Fang for 50. Alright, so 100 damage on this right code here. What do we want? I'll I think draw. this time we're going to do Adventures Discovery plus Expedition. Okay. So I drew it for turn already. I think I'm going to use Primordial Altar. And I do want to keep this card, so I put it on top, right? I just put yes. it back? Okay. Yes. You either keep and it I will use Fleet Footed to draw that card. That's a cool interaction. Yeah. It's not. I actually really love this stadium. It's just like kind of underpowered in terms of Pokemon cards. Right. I think if this card was in Magic the Gathering, it would actually be broken. Yeah? You think so? Yeah. I have no idea. You haven't played it, have you? I used to a really long time. Oh, okay. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and use the Escape Rope. Nice. Yep. Cool. And I'm going to promote the Raichu there, and I think those two cards are going to go back into the deck with the Oh no. Yep, so. Really what hoping I, I can just deny you any sort of VMAX attack guarantee next turn. Uh, if I can get the Beach Court and a way to attack with the Raikou, I can actually do a lot of damage and make it so that you're kind of stuck in the active unless you want to uh, be max attack. Right. Yeah, it's definitely a tricky spot. That adventurous discovery in my hand was going to let me get all my V maxes in play in one turn, so. Yeah. Cut a tip from you here. And then. Can I pull it? Yep. One, two, three, four. Not quite what I was looking for here. I think. What we're going to do is attach to Maridon, and I'm going to retreat to Raikou, and then use Dynamotor to uh, put the energy back. Okay. And let's just go ahead and pass the turn over to you. Okay, so you're just waiting to get the four prizes there. Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Interesting hoping strategy. that you don't got like a QRM boss uh, or anything crazy yeah, like that. I did. Oh my god. I totally thought you were going to say like that you had the boss. <laughs> no. 20. Why the 20 energy? So 21 energy is a really good number because of the um, amount of cards that you put in your prize cards and draw uh, for your hand. If you double the amount, so 21 times 2 is 42, right? And then 42 plus the 15, you have practically a 48.5, I think, something like that, percent chance. Whereas with 30, you're like, it's not worth it. The trainer cards are much more efficient. I mean, you've seen right. Mason's deck is performing phenomenally, where Indeed. like the 30 energy one just like falls short so yeah, much. Yeah, I think that one's so much more just like luck of the draw. Yep. And this one, you're using the trainer cards to just like thin the deck as much as possible. Or stack the deck with Adventures, uh, what is it called? Expedition Uniform or Switching yeah. Cups. So, I like the way I've changed this deck. And you have not used Primordial Altar yet, so you still have access to that. 
We're gonna start by evolving these two Kirim Vs. Yep. And yeah, we'll use the altar. You will definitely leave that there. Oh. Um, I do want to get this knockout pretty badly. We're gonna glaciated world. Yep. Here to the active. I'm just gonna let another one rip. We're gonna see what happens. Whiff. Ooh. And now I am forced into an interesting position. And the belt going down means that you'll have to discard two energy to get rid of a Raichu. I'm actually going to involve this one on the bench here. Yep. And well, let's see it. One. Oh, no! <laughs> Uh-oh. So good. Huh. You're still in a position I haven't done anything, you haven't done anything. Right. You're still kind of in a stalemate here seeing who can, who you can like, do what. Leaving this in the active is kind of nice. I mean, it means you have to gust around it, so... All right, I will pass there. That would be cool. I at least want to see the Zard B deck. That sounds awesome. <laughs> I'll draw for turn, and I'm gonna use Primordial Altar here. I will. Yeah, I think I'm actually gonna. I'm gonna discard the card. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna discard the card. Okay. And then I will use Fleet Footed to draw a card, hopefully a supporter, and it is not. Um, I think we'll just attach Return and <laughs> pass the turn once again. A lot of nothing going on. A lot of nothing. Right, draw Return. Ooh, there we go. That's what I want to see. We got the switching cups. Very nice. Sweet. Nation World number one. Here. Yep. Now attachment does it. Yep. We'll use the primordial altar. It is radiant greninja. Hmm. Which... That's tough. <laughs> tough whether you want it or don't. Right. I don't assume that that I, deck has I any recovery. I don't think I need it. It has one Clara actually. Ooh. I'm gonna discard it. Um. And then we'll use a glacier world. Yep. Nice to see that guy go. Use another one. Ooh. Rip. That's return. <laughs> yep. And frost smash for 140 in the knockout. Nice. Really good for you getting that knockout there. I think what we're going to do is promote the Maridon and draw for turn. Not quite what I wanted to see here, but I think it'll be okay for now. We're going to attach to the Maridon. And Ultra Ball, discarding those two, the Magnezone and the Energy. And it's going to grab us a, another Raichu, and I think this is a really good spot to be in. Actually, no, it's not. Uh, that's okay, though. Mason's kind of in a, an awkward spot because of the, um, the Raichu with the Sky Seal Stone. So if he comes up and attacks without knocking it out, I'm going to get four prizes. It's just pretty much bound to happen. The threat is there, and it's real. So we've attached for turn. I'll let you cut her tap there. I think we're going to Dynamotor to that Raichu, just the one time. And then we'll Photon Blaster for 220 damage. Yeah. Actually, I can Primordial, right? I'm going to yeah. do that real quick. Yeah, yeah, Primordial. I'll keep it. And then okay. um, get those two prizes. It's your yeah. turn. Promote Luxray because it has free retreat. Yeah. Perfect turn. You do that. Um, I'm gonna flip this here so I remember that. Um, or I'll just flip it over, I guess. So I remember I attack. Yeah, okay, sounds good. Yeah. So this is tricky. Is tricky indeed. It's like I have to kill. Okay. Or right you. Yep. Even on top. Wish you the world. Nice. Oh. Now the attachment for turn Actually, gets you there again. But now you gotta find a boss's orders or a Serena. I assume the deck oh. plays quite a few Serena. I'd love to see an expedition uniform like that. Wow, that's awesome. The deck does play a Serena, and I just discarded it. Oh no. <laughs> Looking for boss, but I have no way to draw, so probably keeping that Greninja on top of the deck <laughs> <pretty good. laughs> Right? 
it, right. it could lose you the game, but it can also like win you the game. So yeah. And then we'll do another one here. Yep. And I think actually the smartest move for me here is to use Seeking Bank for 50, because then I can okay. grab the boss's orders out of the deck and just hope that we don't have game. Sounds good. I have game. But that's okay. <laughs> Still not the wrong choice. I, mean. I don't think so either. I will draw for turn here. We know that it's the energy because of the primordial altar. I will attach for turn. And I will attach a forest seal stone. I'm going to Serena yep. and Kurem be next. I will retreat into the Raichu. Use Dynamotor. And I will Sky Order. Or sorry, Ooh. Star Order. And then Dynamic Spark for... 400? 420. No, 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 it's 400, yeah. Wait, Wait no, it's no, 420. 420. Yeah, <laughs> so for 420, for four prizes, taking the game. 420, dude. <laughs> All right, GG. Six, seven. I think we will start. This, it's so crazy to me that the Maridon can just, like, fill your bench. It's so nice. Good luck. The luck three once again here. Let's get into it. I'm going to draw for turn here. And I think with this hand, I kind of want to start with the tandem unit. So I'm going to go ahead and use it. And the Raichu is just super good getting the energy early. Uh, and the double Flaffy was like really nice. So I think I'm going to go for... Actually, do I want to get more Pokemon? I think I will get more Pokemon, so we're going to go for the double Maridon. And the Raikou is super strong for just getting those fleet-footed draws. Because again, this deck is like not super crazy. But uh, sent send the list in Discord. Cool. Appreciate it. Can potentially not matter for price. Yeah, it could potentially not matter. Card tap here. I think what we're gonna do is play down this other Marie here. Get the full board of Flaffy dudes established. And I think that it is worth it to keep this Forest Seal Stone on here for now. And we're gonna go ahead and use up a generator here. One, two, three. Four, five. That's Ooh, exactly what we want to see. So that's going to go on to the Maridon because the Maridon takes three attachments instead of two. And I'm thinking about splitting the energy here. Obviously, attaching to the active so I can retreat is fairly nice. I also have another generator in my hand, so maybe I try my luck with that. Let's see. Better tap from you. I think we're gonna do just that. We're gonna try our luck one more time. One, two, three, four. Holy cow. There we go. And fifth one. Four energy down, turn one. Potentially five if you guys are Oh, it's five. <laughs> That's Sweet. wild, insane. Crap. Yeah, I'm gonna scoop it up. What? <laughs> I know, right? It's, sometimes it can be like that. Yeah. With my hand, I'm gonna be kind of fishing for either Battle VIP Pass or uh, Adventures Discovery, so we'll see what happens. Heck yeah. First tap. And I think these are... Oh, you're good. Uh, I think we're going to do one onto Raikou, one onto Raichu. And then we're going to attach for turn to Retreat. Get this Raikou up and start drawing some extra cards per turn. It's crazy. They printed a Dodrio in uh, the 151 that just does what Raikou does. But on the bench. But it's on the bench. But it like puts a damage on it. Stage one. It. I feel like the damage counter puts on itself is actually just a good thing though. Yeah, except, that's for, true. except for against Ting Lu, it just shuts itself off. <laughs> uh, I will pass my turn over to you. Our turn? Oh, I top picked the ear does. So I could just go straight for the battle VIP pass. That would be pretty sick. Um, yeah, that's probably the play. Yeah, let's just go for it. Sounds good. Yeah, getting those well, three actually, serum down is pretty good. Let's play smart real quick. Okay. Because I don't know if it's prized. I'm gonna play oh, it's yeah. That's a great idea. Yep. Um, we're actually just going to get rid of the recycler. Okay. 
It's crazy, I didn't think Primordial Altar would be as good as it is, but I, I feel like it's really good to propel through the deck. Yeah. Super just, strong. Controlling your top deck is like super interesting. I think when Pokestop rotates... No, I think they rotate at the same time. I was going to say when Pokestop rotates, it's pretty good in Lost Box, but I think they rotate at like the same time. Because then what you can do is you can kind of like choose whether you want to loss on that card or not. Yeah, so, true. It's pretty cool. Yeah, in Lost Box it would be cool because you'd be like, oh, okay, top deck is a dead card, then I'll definitely use Gumpain. Exactly. Okay, so Ultra Ball, I'm going to get Greninja. And you could select whether it's like, oh, it's an energy, I'm going to discard it, or... Oh, it's uh, something I don't need. I want in Lost Zone, like a Battle VIP Pass, then you can Lost it. Here I'm in Battle VIP Pass off the Irida, playing the Battle VIP Pass. Yep. Get two more Kyurems in play here. Full board there, and a bunch of prizes. And next time I've opted to get there for Ninja, and I think that's going to be really helpful just for me to pull off what I want on my turns, but also to like threaten the Flappies, right? Oh shoot, I totally forgot about that. That was something that didn't come up earlier, but yeah, definitely is a really good option to take out two Flappy in one turn. And you only need two Kyurem to hit, so that's really good. Cut it out. Get a nice cut here. I guess I will be going back in actually pretty soon, but I do need to use concept cards real quick. So. Okay. Do that. Sweet. I like these cards. That's your turn and use Seeking Fang for 50. It's kind of cool because i just now realizing that the Luxray is Echo Horn Fruit because he's not a basic. True. So that's yeah, that's sweet. actually another thing that's cool about it. And I just love that he has free retreat too. They really have Right? Unfortunately, it doesn't see much play. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to draw for turn here, and I got exactly what I wanted off the top of the deck. I'm also going to fleet foot it. So, I don't know if Mason knows this. This deck plays six gusts. So, <laughs> I, I'm gusting every turn, right? And it's like gust, 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 gust. So, we did get another gust option. We're going to bring up a Cure MV with Serena. Sweet. And we've got attachment for turn. And Ultra Ball, we're gonna go to a zero card hand, which feels a little weird, but you know, it's totally well, fun. You do what you do, you're gonna take two prizes, so. That's right. This matchup is such a race, anyway. It is, 100%. So we're getting the Flappy down, which is really good, because we're gonna just accelerate the energy back onto Raikou so that we can retreat it uh, and promote it as our active after we take this knockout. And potentially we get knocked out. If we don't get knocked out, Feeling really good because again, this deck plays four Serena and two boss, so really just able to get those gusts out, knock out everything in sight. Or tap for you. I'm gonna retreat into the Maridon here, and I'm gonna Dynamo to that Raiko once again, and we're gonna Photon Blaster for 220 damage, taking a few prizes. Let's try. Yep. The free retreat's just so nice. And the adventurer's discovery. Yep. Let's see here. So are we just looking for... Gonna get these three, two VMAXs and a V. Yep. And um, are you gonna bench the V or no? I'm contemplating that right now. I think there's actually no reason not to. Right. I mean, the worst case scenario is now I just win with Skyseal Spin, right? Yeah, That's what you're exactly. worried about. So exactly. you're not worried about me just knocking out a V because then I still need to knock out either two of these or a V Max. So it's like, it's not too bad. You're just hoping that I don't have Skyseal Stone now is the only thing you can do because Skyseal Stone with the Raichu will be game over. Okay. The problem I have with this hand is the deck plays 21 energies and none of them are in my hand. So, <laughs> oh, yeah. I think unfortunately I actually just can't pull up an attack this turn. And that's, that's bad. Gonna lose me the game for sure. Yeah. Um, Especially if I can get a, a rope or a gust or literally anything. Expedition uniform. Hoping that that's three waters. It's two. Ah, oh, there you go. That's what I need. A little frustrating because I would just pull off the attack here if I had the energy in hand. Right. And I assume it'd be double flappy KO. Actually, this turn it would maybe be the Maride on the X because like it gets a lot of energy off your board and you sort of don't have a huge hand, but I guess Flappy would make sense as well. 
Okay, finish your world. Yep. What's up next? Uh, so the next thing is going to be Kiram V. Kiram V Max versus uh, versus uh, Mew V Max. Fusion Mew. Not me versus them. Oh. Uh, I think it's. I'll. I'll check. I'll double check. It should but, be me and Matt. Matt. I think it's. So, yeah. Seeking thing for fifty. Okay. Yeah. That's, that's not great. Yeah. It's gonna let me grab Melanie though, which is huge. That is great. And I think yeah. the other thing is gonna be what the primordial altar or. Uh, I actually have them in hand. So oh. it's probably just gonna be another choice expedition belt, uniform or ah. something. Uh, choice belt doesn't make sense. It's for choice belt. Cool. I want to draw for turn here. We did get the Arvin, which is awesome because that is going to be Sky Seal's Stone for oh, a nice. future turn. Not this turn, obviously. Yeah, yeah. Um, but a future turn. So we're going to evolve into the Flappy, and then we're going to go ahead and Arvin and hope that uh, Mason doesn't have any hand disruption. Uh, although I don't think he does. I don't even need Sky Seal Stone if I just knock out the Luxray. Yeah, I just no, realized that. Was, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's so bad. <laughs> Hold on one sec. Yeah. Well, I'm actually going to go for a different card me here. Me when the deck doesn't set up. Yeah. We're going to go for the Mr. Probe <laughs> and the Sky Seal Stone. I'll give it a good cut here. And yeah, we pretty much have the game locked up now, which is weird to say on turn two, but... Yeah, for real. Um, well, it'd be like that when you hit four energy on turn one with the electric deck. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Dude, this deck pops off sometimes. Alrighty here, we're going to go ahead and escape from it. And this is where I'm forced to not go into VMAX because I know he'd have game in hand, so... Yep. It's supposed to be. And I am going to promote the Raikou once again. I will use Fleet Footed here to draw one card. Get some energy, which is awesome. I'm going to attach return and then Dynamotor to a Flappy. And then I will retreat into the Maridon and Dynamotor one more time. So those two are good to go. This is reset now. And then I will go ahead and Photon Blaster for 220, taking two yep. more prizes. Luxrays for sure. Start for turn. Okay, so this turn. Really fun match so far. It's like a, yeah. a blowout test with uh, like knockouts. What, what, what deck pops off the most? You right? Know? I so honestly Melanie. think the Kiram deck's doing really well, though. Like, I did not expect a deck yeah. with those cards to be good. <laughs> but you know what? Is... Maybe Ice Rider's not so bad. It's been underestimated for sure. I'm thinking Ice Rider might might be okay if the Kiram deck's good. Let's go Expedition Uniform. Just hoping to see at least one energy here. Yep. Not two, so chilling. This will be the Greninja turn. They should have rolled twice. Very nice. Ooh. Even use concealed cards. Don't have to feel bad about it. <laughs> but... This is where I kind of feel bad putting the Dynamotor on the Flappy because I think I had game if I didn't do that. <laughs> That's your turn. Um, yeah, this is the point where maybe I could have played an escape rope first mm. and then attach the energy so you didn't know my plan. But right. It's okay. Let's retreat. And Moonlight Shirk sure, and the other two Flappies. Alrighty here. Let's see an energy off the top of the deck. But not quite. That's okay. Because we're going to tandem unit, take a look at stuff. Make sure everything's good to go. And we're going to grab a Raikou and a Raichu. And I'm trying to think about this. Um, we are going to retreat. So that is five energy on the field, which means I need one more. And we're just going to Serena up uh, VMAX. Okay. And then we will Star Alchemy for exactly. an energy and Dynamic Spark for 360 damage. Okay. And the game. GG's. Good game. 
That was a pretty fun set. That was insane. This deck kind of surprised me, and that deck really surprised me, so. That version of Rhino, that seems pretty good, and obviously the Raichu is really good into this matchup. Yep. 